Hello, everyone. Welcome to a Fortress Comic News special edition. Yes, I did the intro this time. What? I can't believe it. Uh, is Chris here today? Will he ever come back? No, he is here today. And uh, we're doing an interview. Hey, Chris. Welcome. Welcome to the show. Uh, this is hey, not. Everybody. This is not co-host Chris. This is uh, comic book writer Chris. Chris Runt, and that's R U N Silent D T. I got it right, right? Yes. Uh, hey, welcome to the show, Chris. Um, Thanks for having me, Mike. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm, I'm so glad I finally get to talk to you. Uh, actually, I, I talk to you all the time, but I don't get to talk to you about this that much. Um, it, he's even been keeping it a, a secret from me. So we're going to talk about um, his comic book project, his 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 jump into writing this this crazy idea that he's had, right? Um, it's how, I mean, how many years has this been in your mind that you wanted to just put on a page? I mean, come on, let's let's hear it. So this whole book started off as fan fiction like five years ago, six years ago. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and it was like Pokemon fan fiction. So okay. super cool stuff, you know? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Super cool. Um, and then it was about two years ago. We were doing this. Sh we we're doing this show. Mm -hmm. And um, I started to click at me that like everybody we're interviewing were just like dudes or people. They were just yeah. people. Um, <laughs> well, you know, hold on, hold on. Dude is general neutral. Just, just. Or, oh, just, it is. Okay. Yeah. They were just dudes writing comics, and uh, yeah. a lot of the people we were talking to were people who had normal jobs and did it on the side. Mm -hmm. I know a few people are lucky enough to do it full time, but so I said, "Why not? Give it a shot. Let's try it." And I found artist, and it took a while to get it drawn because he lives in Indonesia, and natural disasters suck. But yeah, we got it finished, and. So what, what what's the name of the project? Let's throw that at the listeners. So the book is Battle Monsters. Okay, Battle Monsters. I'm sold. All right. How, how what is it? What is this about? You said it's Pokemon fan fiction, but what do you do with the idea of Pokemon here? Yeah. So uh, speaking of Pokemon, Pokemon is short for Pocket Monsters. So Battle Monsters short would be Batmon. Um, nice. <laughs> I already bought. I already bought twelve issues. Twelve issues sold because it's now it's Batmon sold. Uh, so yeah, so the 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 short pitch, like the the everyday pitch, is Pokemon meets Walking Dead, but the real story is that like it's these humans and monsters were living together. Um, they were doing different things together, like uh, using them for labor, and they were living together as friends. And there was also this giant sport that everybody was into, and it was to have the monsters fight each other. It's nothing like Pokemon. Um, <laughs> And then one day, one of the monsters, you know, started to evolve and had this idea of, like, why are we living in tyranny? Why are we uh, letting these humans control our lives and all this? And started to convince other monsters of the same thing and mm -hmm. slowly started to turn everybody. And eventually, one day, all the monsters revolted and killed a bunch of people and ran away. <laughs> hmm. um, that's a story that I'll get to later because that's a OGN that I want to do one day. But um, so the world we're in now is after all this and the monsters live in the forest and in, in the, the lands and the humans still live in these little communities and the communities are makeshift. They have electricity and uh, basic needs, but some of the stuff is starting to wear down. The electrical grid is starting to uh, not work the way it's supposed to and other things. So they realize they have to go through the forest to find um the doctor who helped create everything mm -hmm. to help fix it and bring everything back to spec and kind of bring back humanity to where it was at one point. And um, that's where the book starts off is them trying to figure out what to do. And then they're going to have an adventure through that and meet these different monsters. And there's going to be a main monster that's on the cover and everything that you all are going to grow to hate and possibly love. Mm -hmm. And it's just, it's that story of these three people coming together and going off to rekindle a friendship that was destroyed through a time of dire need. Um, when we get into issue two, you'll see what happened with this friendship, um, who the character is at the end of the book one, and why they no longer talk. So hmm. I'm really excited for it. It's you know something that's been going on for five years. I mean, I think something we joked about years ago when we first met, and now yeah. it's like a thing that might actually happen. <laughs> so, I, really quick, because um, we want to get to like what where to send people on the Kickstarter, but like, I like the idea of when you said the, the Pokemon evolved, and like, 
not, I mean, the quote unquote Pokemon evolved, uh, the battle monsters evolved. And instead of like the typical run of the mill, oh, my, my battle monster evolved. Now they're going to be stronger, but they're still going to fight for me. It's like, no, they're stronger and they're going to kill everyone and seek their freedom. You know what I mean? I like that idea of like the twist of like what we know with a, like a battle monster story, but like you're also going to put some other twists on other things. Like, could we see like possible like, um, like a reference to like Poké Centers stuff like that. Like, what are those like in the apocalypse? Yes. Uh, so there's there's references to stuff that's very Pokemon esque. Mm-hmm. Uh, obviously, that that's where the inspiration came from. So I want to throw right. them in there. Yeah. Um, I have an idea for like what I can do with Jesse and James. Mm. Okay. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> there's a little bit in the first issue, not quite as much because I really want to introduce you to the characters, mm-hmm. um, have a cool action sequence, and then go out on a cliffhanger. Yep. Um, but like issue two is written and is being drawn currently. Um, that one will have kind of the backstory that I talked about earlier, and um, then issue three we might get into more of like some of the characters that you're going to recognize from Pokemon. But I'm going to change enough to make them my own. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, because like I don't want I don't want to rely too much on the idea of like I'm just taking this property and ripping it off. Yeah, it was it is a what if story in my mind, but I try to create my own world here where these characters can live and. I can tell different stories outside of this one. Um, cool. So, so sure. Yes. Yeah, all right. That's, that's what I'm um, So this Kickstarter, uh, when is it, when is it starting? And uh, when is we got 30 days after that, right? So if you're listening to this, it started already. Um, oh, all right. Well, it you already can go started. in the show notes and find it or uh, find me on Twitter or my website. Uh, Twitter is Fortress Chris, website is chrisrunt.com, that's C H R I S R U N D T dot com. Mm-hmm. Um, and check it out. Everything's set up. There's uh, there's a couple of tiers for things to donate to. Um, we're looking at possibly adding uh, sketches from one of the variant cover artists mm-hmm. um, for you to purchase as well. Uh, there's going to be two covers. There's going to be a digital edition, a print edition. There's going to be a comic shop friendly edition uh for them to get a few in their stores to possibly sell there mm-hmm. um but we're looking for 1500 um 1500 is to finish uh paying the colorist for all of his work um he's currently working on it and he's doing an amazing job and i want to make sure he gets paid mm-hmm. um and then the rest goes straight to printing cost so uh printing is the majority of this cost it's a huge cost um, especially depending on how good we do, we can print more. Mm-hmm. It'll cost a little bit less, which is nicer. But that's really what we're aiming for here. Um, I've had a few people ask me, like, what if this doesn't get funded? Um, one, I really hope it does. But uh, the main mm-hmm. thing there is, is if it doesn't, it's just going to take longer. Um, okay. I've paid out of pocket for everything here. Uh, and if I have to keep paying out of pocket, I'll, I will to see it finished. Uh, you might just not see a print copy of this for a while, but um, there is plans in place to put it on the Comixology and other things as well. Also, awesome. Well, Battle Monsters number one. Please follow Chris. ChrisRunt.com. R U N Silent D T dot com. Fortress Chris on Twitter. Please, everybody, check it out. I know I'm going to be contributing a mysterious amount of money, maybe over several days. Let's find out. Um, but yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Chris, and let's get this funded. Yes, thanks, everybody, for checking out. Even if you don't have the money to back it, just checking it out. I love it. Um, And share it, because maybe someone you know will enjoy it as well, and I appreciate everybody doing that. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you at Fortress Comic News.